State Knifeman ranted about how he was sick and tired of seeing my fellow Muslim brothers being killed and tortured on social media hours before wounding 11. Somali refugee Abdul Razak Ali Artin posted on Facebook that he was sick and tired of seeing my fellow Muslim brothers being killed and tortured shortly before he went on a slashing rampage at the Ohio State University that left 11 injured. Authorities are currently investigating the posts, allegedly made by Artin, which mention radical Clara Kanwar Alaki and accuse America of interfering with other nations. I am sick and tired of seeing my fellow Muslim brothers and sisters being killed and tortured everywhere, it stated. I can't take it anymore. America. Stop interfering with other countries, especially Muslim Amma, communities, if, you want us Muslims to stop carrying lone wolf attacks. We are not weak, remember that, the Post said, according to NBC News. Two hours before that, another Post read, forgive and forget. Love. Artem left at least 11 injured, on of whom critically, after he drove onto the sidewalk at the university on Monday afternoon, mowing down the crowds of innocent bystanders, witnesses say. He then jumped out of the car and began slashing victims with a butcher knife, according to police. While the motive for the attack is still under investigation, but there are questions about whether Artin, who was Muslim, may have carried it out in jihad. Artan is reportedly a Somali refugee who fled his home country in 2007, moving first to Pakistan with his family before coming to America in 2014 and gaining legal permanent resident status. His age has not been confirmed, but it has been reported by various outlets as 18 and 20. Somalia has become a haven for terror groups, including ISIS, since civil war broke out in the 1990s. And Columbus has one of the largest contingents of Somali refugees in the U.S. The suspect lived briefly in a temporary shelter in Dallas before settling in Ohio, according to Catholic Charities Records, obtained by NBC. He attended Columbus State Community College for two years, where he graduated cum laude with an associate's degree before moving on to Ohio State to continue his studies. Artin, reportedly a logistics management student, was pictured by the school's student newspaper The Lantern on Twitter this afternoon. He was interviewed by the paper back in August about his faith. In the piece, he said that he struggled to find a private place to pray on campus, after transferring from Columbus State which had such facilities, 